In this video, I want to demonstrate how to inspect the metadata that's available in MySQL. Now, remember uh, in an earlier video, I talked about a database is self describing, and that self description is very often called the metadata. And it's possible to query that metadata. And in MySQL, there's actually two ways. They have implemented something called the show commands. And we'll demonstrate a few of these, like show databases, show tables, etc. And they've also implemented an information schema, which if you look over on the left here, you'll see the cylinder. That's the database. And if you open that up, there's um, a lot of tables in it. And those tables hold information about all the databases in the system. Now, unless you use databases a lot or MySQL a lot, you're probably not going to remember all the different show commands. But if you remember this um, pane here, the SQL um, addition, there's this context help and the snippets. Well, under database management here, there's a complete list of all the different show commands. And of course, then it'll show you the syntax required to, to use them. So um, in my class, we're just going to use a few of these. I want you to be aware of them. Um, of course, more often than not, you're going to look it up or have to Google um, when you're looking for a particular piece of information. But here's a couple easy ones to use. Um, and then I'll also show you the equivalent use in the, using the information schema. So I'll turn off this pane to give us more room. So for instance, if I want to see all the databases in my instance of SQL Server, or my SQL, I should say, I just select that command and hit Run. Let me pull up my grid, and there are all the databases. So obviously I can see it here as a list, or I can look over here in my Navigator pane and see the same list. So I've added a few databases here, a bookstore, a Northwind, a Sequila database, and I can see it in that list. Well, if I don't want to see them all, but I want to just see all the ones that begin with the word book, you can use a like word, and then percent symbol is a, is a wild card. So basically I'm saying anything that starts with book, and I don't care how it ends. So it could be books, bookstore, um, can't think of other examples. But if I run that, I'll now just get the one result back. All right, so what's the equivalent of the show command using the information schema database? And by the way, this is an ANSI compliant uh, notion, this information schema. So a few databases, I think, believe SQL Server uses, will use this, and MySQL also has it, and I thought there was one more, maybe Postgres will have this exact same database information schema. One of the tables in there is called Schemata, and so if I select that and hit Run, it shows me all the different databases, plus it has additional columns of obviously the default character set, the, the collation, the catalog name. So um, if you don't want to see all those columns and I want to make that uh, look exactly like the show command, which was only that name, I can just select that column, right? So the star means show me all the columns from this database and that table in the database. Whereas now I'm saying, just show me that one column from this database and that table in the database. So when I hit that run, now it looks much more like the show database command. I'm seeing everything. And of course, if I wanted to only see the bookstore, I can add a where clause or I can say schema name equals and that specific database bookstore. So that is the show database, both as a show command and using the information schema. So I've seen the databases. What if I want to query about information on the tables in a particular database? So let me scroll up a little bit here. So here's a show tables command. So right here I can say show tables from, and for, I'll just put, choose this Aquila one, I hit run. Now it's listing all the tables right there. Or if I only want to see a certain, there's that like keyword again, and I can use a wildcard character. So now I'm only going to see the tables that begin with the letter A on that same database. All right? Well, what's the equivalent using information schema? I'm going to select every column 
and in this database I have a table called tables so when I select it I can see all this information now of course it's listing way more columns of information than the show command did um, same thing if I only want to see the table name well, I'll get rid of that star and I'll grab that column and say only show me that column um, and if I don't want to see every table out of every database like I currently see I can put a where clause that says where the table schema equals Aquila so now this will look more like the show command that I had up here that says show tables from Sakila. So it's just giving me a list of those tables. And hopefully you're getting the idea. Um, I've seen, show me the databases, show me the tables in the databases. Now I want to get information about the columns in those tables. Now there's one just say show columns from and you list the table. But if you're going to use that, you have to first tell it what database you're interested in. So first I'll run use Aquila, which of course it pops it up here being bold. Now I can say show columns and it gives me a list of the columns or um, data types, whether they can be null or not, primary key, uh, things like that. And there's another way to do that that's uh, I think it's an ANSI compliant, it's the describe keyword, and of course here it's abbreviated. You can say describe actor, and it will give me the exact same information. That's short for describe, I think you can also spell it out, describe actor. Um, when you shorten it, it's kind of a unique one, and that, that also, when we get into order by clauses, it stands for descending. So it's a, an abbreviation that has two, two meanings depending on how you use it. But anyway, in this case, we're just talking about I need information about columns, the metadata on my columns, and so you could use describe, or you could say show columns from actor as long as you have that database selected. Rather than um, selecting the database first and then saying show columns second, you can do this trick, which is show columns from books, which is the name of a table in my bookstore database. So I'm saying from books from bookstore. So now I'm telling in one command, I'm telling it what database to look at and what table to look at, and now show me those columns. So these are the columns and their data types in the books table of the bookstore database. So I didn't have to do the use keyword first. And then of course I can do a where clause in a show command. So they're very much similar to a select statement. I can say I only want to see the columns that have a decimal data type. So I'm saying show columns from books, from the bookstore, where this column, which is the type column, is like, and again I'm using DESC with a percent symbol, which is a wild card, meaning it has to start with DECI, and then I don't care what comes after it. So if I select that, boom, and now I'm seeing the decimal columns out of the um, books table in the bookstore database, right there. And finally, the last one I'm going to show you that I find kind of interesting, and I don't know that there's an equivalent using the information schema, although I guess I should mention there is an equivalent of looking at columns in information schema. So if I look over here, you'll see a um, table called columns, and guess what it has? If I say select the top thousand rows, it is every column out of every table. If I don't want to see that, I could say where table underscore schema equal bookstore and now it's only going to show me all of the columns in um, the bookstore database and I could add to that where clause and say and where table underscore name equal books and so now I'm only going to see the columns oops maybe books was not the right um, Oh, silly me, it's not and where, it's just and. So, I was just typing what I was thinking. So there we go. So this is the books, and these are the, those columns again. And of course, I rather than select star, I could say I'm only interested in the um, data type for each of these columns, so not everything. So there was the, there was the equivalent of, of grabbing column information rather than using the show command. 
how to use the information schema. So now let me go back. Here, I just want to see the statement that was used to create the database called Bookstore. So I can select that and hit Run, and there is actually the statement, Create Database Bookstore. Um, it just has a comment about do, using the default character set. And then, of course, because this is being generated by MySQL, it use that back tick in front of all the names, which when we really type them, we don't put that in. I, I, I've just figured out that thing's called the grave accent that little back tick right there. But you can also use the same thing on a create table statement, which is kind of interesting. So I can choose bookstore as my database by using the use command. And now I can say show create table author. And now when I run that, that's gonna be a much longer statement. So what I'm gonna do is click wrap cell contents here. And there it is, create table author, parenthesis, author IDs of archar four, not null, var 10, there they list they define the primary key at table level rather than putting the word primary key up here, but whatever, same accomplishes the same thing. And here it mentions what engine it is using, NODB and the default character set of UTF-8. So now I can grab that statement, paste it, edit it, and recreate the table. Recognize if you do that, if you happen to have any data in that table, you would lose it by recreating it. But um, that's the create table statement. Um, or the show create table. It's kind of cool that you can grab how that thing was created. I think I showed you in a previous video another way to do that is just to run bookstore tables and you can right click on a table. Which one did we just do? We did the author. So if I right click, I can say create table or copy to clipboard a create table statement. I can open up a new tab or just grab this tab and hit control V for paste and I'll get the exact same thing. So you can either do it through a show command or by right clicking on on the table over here. But that's it. Um, just wanted to show you there's ways to grab, get at that metadata. And in MySQL, we like two ways, the show, or we can select certain information out of the information schema. For my particular class, I'm not expecting that you would memorize these. We don't use them all that often, but you would need an awareness that they're there. Um, and that they're not hard to use so that if you need to, you could look up the information. Uh, so and be prepared to do some of these simple show database, show table, show columns type commands.